Hey there, in this video we're going to talk about breadcrumb navigation for big commerce. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I am a developer, a store owner just like you, and I run an online community for store owners like us. I'll have a link at the end. And uh, let me share my screen. Let's get going. Okay, so I'm in a big commerce store, and what we're talking about is breadcrumbs right here. Now, if your question is, does big commerce have breadcrumbs? Yes, it does. In fact, they're they should be there by default. Although if you're on a third party theme, then you know maybe that theme is chosen not to show them, but they should be available by default. And we're looking at the cornerstone theme, completely default, uncustomized, and you can see it right here on the product page as well as on the category page, um, right out the gate. Now, <clears throat> there used to be an option if you go into uh, settings and then display, there. Right here at the top of the display, there's a drop down here that says either show one only or don't show. Now there used to be an option to show all of the breadcrumbs if a, if a product was in multiple categories. It doesn't seem to be there anymore, so I think maybe it's been removed. But you can choose to show one or don't show at all. And you can see that this, I think, just affects your product page. So let's go ahead and click don't show and then save. Um, Let's go back to the product page and refresh. Okay, so you can see that they're gone. And this is one way to get rid of them. You could also just comment it out in the code or you could hide it with CSS, um, which that might be the best way to do it because then it's still on the page. You can bring it back easily if you want down the road, but it's still crawlable, which is nice. Um, if I click into the category page though, you can see that Hiding it on the product page doesn't hide it on the category page. So if your goal is to get rid of breadcrumbs altogether, which I would not recommend because they're good for SEO, but if your goal is to get rid of them altogether, I think on the category page and some of the other templates, you may have to comment them out or delete them in the theme. But I do recommend that you leave them there. So again, that's on the display tab. I'm going to choose show one only. And there we go. So uh, breadcrumbs are very useful. They're very useful for Google to crawl your stuff and know how it relates to the other products and improve the, the crawlability of your site. It's also something that, you know, we as developers use sometimes to be able to figure out what category something is in, in order to trigger something on the page. So that can be really useful. Now, if your product is in multiple categories, which this one actually is, if I browse the back end uh, and look at this, it's in like three or four categories. Which one does it show? The one that it shows is the one with the smallest ID, which is kind of weird, right? Because every category has an ID number. Maybe this one's 12 and another one's 130 and another one's 2,500, depending on how many categories I've made. It's just going to show the one with the smallest ID. You know, it is what it is. Uh, it's going to show that it's in a category. Most of the time people are fine with that but it has to choose some way and that's how it chooses which one to show if it's in multiple. All right. So I think I've pretty much said everything that you guys might want to know about breadcrumbs. If I've missed anything and you have some questions, then leave me a comment. Or even if you don't have any questions, leave me a comment. Let me know this helped or let me know what you're stuck on. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you're interested in my community, check out e-commerce amplifiers. And if you need help from me or my dev team, reach out to us at epicdesignlabs.com. Thanks so much.